hybrid cloud, as we covered in the previous lesson, is a computing environment that connects an organization's on-premise, private cloud, and third-party public cloud into a single infrastructure for running the organization's applications. Multi-cloud is a cloud adoption strategy that embraces a mix of cloud models from different service providers, public, private, and managed, across infrastructure, platform, or software services. For example, a business may consume email as a service from one provider, a CRM application from another, and infrastructure from yet another provider. So essentially, a hybrid multi-cloud implies you are able to leverage the, the best of cloud models and services across different service providers and have your applications and workloads working seamlessly across multiple different clouds. In this video, we will look at some use cases for why a business may want to use a hybrid multi-cloud approach. In this video, I want to touch on a few of those use cases for why a business may want to use hybrid or multi-cloud. Let's start with the basic one, cloud scaling. Now, most of us are probably familiar with this. It's one of the main reasons for adopting the cloud. Now, let's say we have a flower delivery service that is able to hit a certain bottom line of users. They have on-premise infrastructure, and it can hit a certain amount of user load. So visualizing this here throughout uh, a calendar year, you can imagine that their load maybe goes up and down and responds to specific holidays. Now, to hit those peaks, they could scale up their on-premise architecture, but that's met with upfront costs and costs of upkeep. Now instead, what they'll instead do is take advantage of cloud. That allows them to scale up in response to that load and then automatically deprovision resources when they no longer need them. Now this concept is kind of general to cloud computing, not just hybrid or multi-cloud. But that brings me to my next topic. And here we're going to be talking about how it can be used to build a composite cloud. So essentially, this is going to be applications that are spread across multiple cloud environments. So back to the flower delivery service, let's say they have on-premise architecture that allows them to run three major components of their app. So let's say they have the web UI, uh, they have some billing APIs, as well as a rewards framework. Now, let's say that this service is actually based in EU, and their European customers are happy. But for their North American or American customers, spe uh, specifically around you know, Veterans Day or Thanksgiving, they're noticing that the system is bogging down. And so they decide to take advantage of a hybrid cloud or multi-cloud architecture by composing their application across multiple cloud environments. So they'll take advantage of data centers in America and essentially, they've identified that although the rewards framework can stay on-prem in their European side, they want to move the billing and the UI capabilities over. So they'll move just those two to a cloud platform of their choice in a North American or American data center. This kind of allows them to scale up portions in response to, say, American holidays while keeping their EU portions individually scaled. So, in this example, the flower delivery service is able to take advantage of scaling at a global level by using the hybrid or multi-cloud architecture. Next, let's talk about the airline or travel industry. So we can first start with an example of modernization. Now, in the past, we've seen that you know, reservation systems may have been difficult to work with or you might have had to call in but almost all, all the airline companies now have a mobile application. So most of the time, and we've actually found that it's about, um, in general, not just in the travel industry, but 80% of all enterprise applications are actually still on-prem. And that's likely the case in this industry as well. So in this specific example, let's say they have a reservation system that's running on-prem. But to create new experiences for their end users, let's say they've created a mobile application. That mobile app, of course, has a mobile backend that's maybe running in a public cloud. And that, in turn, works with the reservation service. So again, the mobile app 
can hit the mobile backend, and that in turn works with the reservation capabilities. So in this case, they've modernized and new user experiences are possible. But let's take that a step further. Now, a source for a lot of dissatisfaction for users is whenever their flights are delayed. So when a flight is delayed, they may have to rebook new flights. The solution is almost always the same. The traveler wants to get to his destination in the easiest way possible. So what airline industries have been doing is take advantage of the cloud to create maybe a recommendation feature. So it allows them to book new flights as soon as a delay is recommended or as soon as a delay is incurred. And that's going to connect up to that mobile backend service, allowing users to be able to book flights through their phone the second a flight is delayed. This not only improves the bottom line for the airline industry, but leads to happier users. So that's one way the modernization has been done. Next, let's take it even a step further and talk about data and AI. For data and AI, the airline industry has been taking advantage of lots of historical data. So over the decades that a company has been around, let's say they have historical data of when um, unplanned maintenance has happened on, on their airline. In fact, 30% of all delay time in the, in the airline industry is actually when unplanned maintenance happens. So by taking advantage of, let's say, machine learning or AI capabilities, they could hook into all of the legacy data that they have, large volumes, and connect them up to machine learning and AI capabilities. This allows airline industries to take advantage of predictive analytics and get insights before errors or uh, before the unplanned maintenance ever occurs. This again improves their bottom line, leading to happier users and a more efficient airline industry. Now, today we talked about four major use cases for hybrid and multi-cloud platforms. So cloud scaling and composite cloud in the uh, flower delivery service, as well as modernize and data and AI for the airline industry. Another reason for adopting hybrid multi-cloud strategy is to prevent lock-in to a specific vendor's cloud platform and having flexibility of being able to move workloads from one cloud platform to another as the need arises. In the next video, we will understand what a microservices architecture is, its features, benefits, and use cases.